Greetings, and welcome to our fourth episode of our Mod of the Month series, and today we're looking at the best mods released in August of 2015, as chosen by you guys in our online poll. And I know this is a bit late, it's almost the end of October already, but before we start, I must acknowledge that I did notice that there appeared to be some voter manipulation going on with the polls, so I've gone with the original set of the top three mods that were picked in the first two weeks for this video. And of course, there's a new poll up today for the best mods of September, but this time, please only vote one time per person. In any event, our mod of the month for August of 2015 is Clear Your Name by Lucifer. And this is a fairly simple mod, but one that adds greatly to immersion and roleplaying in Morrowind. Now when you commit a crime, you have a lot more options than just running straight to the Thieves Guild. Instead, you can go to Fort Moonmoth and talk to this fellow here about fixing your bounty. And this NPC is actually mentioned in Morrowind Dialogue as the corrupt magistrate you hear about in latest rumors in Balmora. But Bethesda forgot to add him in the game, so needless to say, this mod is very lore-friendly. And Lucifer also added some well-written unique dialogue that blends in really well and helps direct players to some of the less known or hidden quests in the Balmora area. Not only that, but if you're a member of House Telvani, you can now talk to Fast Eddie to get your bounty removed. Or if you're a member of House Lalu, you can also go to Caldera for a quick fix, adding a lot more options that work well with the vanilla game and make for a much better role-playing and immersion experience. For our second pick for Mod of the Month, we have One True Faith Saints and Frescoes Retexture by Tidy. And what this mod does is it replaces the textures and art for the frescoes and shrines of the Dunma Temple in Morrowind. And I just have to say that it's an absolutely beautiful replacement. These textures are high resolution with lovely crisp detail that's an absolutely fantastic addition to the Lothi temples. And the art here is really just amazing. That first fresco we saw shows the prophet Veloth leading the dissenting Chimmer to Morrowind. And again, the detail here is just quite excellent. And in the second fresco, we saw the tribunal, and there's some engraved writing on the sides, and even the identifying Daedric lettering underneath each of the tribunal, like the Daedric V for Vec, that's right below his image. And moving on, the small also replaces the textures of temple shrines that you can find in the tombs and temples of Morrowind, and of course in the high fane of Evec, as you can see here. And you can see some of these shrines, and again, they're just really fantastic looking. Tiny has done an excellent job keeping with the vanilla theme of Morrowind while greatly enhancing the textures and art here, and just building upon the great sense of atmosphere that these shrines and frescoes provide. And it's pretty easy to see why this was the second pick from our online poll, and for a while it was actually ahead of Clear Your Name, though they're both great mods that I highly recommend. Finally, for our third pick for Mod of the Month, we have Lightning Ghost Fence High Resolution by OpenGLCG. And this is a texture replacer for the sort of force field effect of the ghost fence that surrounds Red Mountain. And as far as texture replacers go, it's obviously fairly high resolution, with a pretty good overall quality. And I actually think the lightning effect works really well here, sort of creating a mystical and believable barrier into Red Mountain. And it's certainly a great alternative to the rather boring bluish force field wall of Vanilla Morrowind, and personally I always disliked the Vanilla Ghost Fence textures. They just, they were kind of low resolution and hastily done in my opinion. And there just aren't very many Ghost Fence retexture mods out there, so this does a great job of filling a long time gap and providing a great option for players who are tired of generic blue force fields. And anyway, that's all we have for this month, and again, the online poll for September is now online, and you can find a link to that in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time with another list of the best mods from September.